Hello October, this is Friday Favorites Spooky Season. So in today's video we will see very terrifying creatures and some authors that they are so cute but they are Halloween related somehow, I don't know why, <laughs> because they are so so cute. Stay tuned till the end of the video so you can see them all and tell me which of these were your ultimate favorite okay so let's start okay so we are starting with this uh, beautiful design this is an amigurumi collection so this is by irene strange and i don't know what you think but uh this cat looks familiar to me so i don't know if it comes from any series or horror movie or maybe a cartoon uh, like Halloween cartoon or something it doesn't say much in here but uh, I have kind of some memories of this cat in any movie I don't know please let me know in the comments if you know if this cat belongs to a movie or a cartoon or anything and I think that's something that caught my eye of every Amigurumi, it's the details. I mean, an Amigurumi, it's cute uh, by itself, but I think that it brings like um, this all sensation and this mesmerizing like wow. I think when the piece itself has many details and I think that for this piece I mean the cat doesn't come along it comes with a broom and I think this is so cute like when you go to the supermarket to get you know one of these figures whatever uh, character it's um, trending right now and then it will come with more accessories as a toys I think this um, design really achieves that that you not only see the cat by itself but it comes with an accessory and i think that you can really tell a lot of stories like um like uh who be, um, who this cat and broom belongs to and why the broom is with a cat and you know like you can uh like play with your imagination and create tons of stories not just a character by itself so i really like this one this is by irene irene strange and yeah i think this is so cute let me know if this cat belongs to any movie or cartoon because it sounds familiar to me but i don't know next we have this beautiful pattern release this one is by egg crochets and i think this is so so cute i know these are ghosts and i personally wouldn't like to see a ghost or have a paranormal experience or whatever but i think that these ghosts are so so cute and especially because of the hats of the hats that they have i think that um they are so cute and I personally always enjoy wearing a hat or something in the head as an accessory and I think that these are so so cute. This is the corn candy and this could be like a cowboy and this is of course a witch or a magician uh, hat. And if you scroll or if you go to the next you will see like um, the testers uh, designs or attempts. And I think that this one here from the Boonie Burrow, it's very, very cute because of the little monster that is hidden inside the, um, the hat. So I think this is absolutely beautiful. And the description says that uh, for this pattern, it's like three patterns in one because it is like one single piece, like the ghost. And then of course you will have the different patterns of the hats and i think this is absolutely beautiful so so cute again i love the details and um so the, if you would like to get the pattern so you have to go here but it, it is this one is by a crochets and all the links you'll have it in the description and you know halloween it's always like a weird season because 
uh, when Halloween comes, like immediately, immediately after, it becomes Christmas decoration and Christmas vibe all around the city, right? And this amigurumi is not the exception. So this is the Jack the Halloween Nutcracker. So I think this is like gorgeous, but at the same time, it is like fun to me right because you have the nutcracker figure but uh dressed in halloween or you know like um being a skeleton so i think this is so cute and so like a fun design then this one is from miss daisy handmade and i really love all the details involved because uh like as an amigurumi, like you can always identify like easy, not easy, but for example, I think that for a pumpkin or any other figure, like it is very easy to identify if it has the colors, right? Because I don't know if the pumpkin wasn't uh, orange, but it was another color, maybe you will think that it's a tomato or any other fruit, a berry, for example. And same with this nutcracker. I mean, the figure of the nutcracker, it's like very easy to identify. If you have seen it before, you know how a nutcracker looks like, right? But you, we are always used to see these nutcracker figures like in Christmas only and with Christmas colors only or maybe a little bit of blue, maybe. But you know, like the classic colors of Christmas are... Um, of course red uh green and white and sometimes navy blue or blue right and i've never seen a nutcracker in any other colors just until now and i think this is an um, absolutely beautiful piece like as a nutcracker skeleton i think this is very well a shift and a fun piece this is memorable one of my favorite pieces of today's friday favorites and now we have these two head plushies this one is by rin meow or mew 21 and i think this is so cute and so charming but at the same time terrific you know because uh it looks like two plushies joined together and this will be like uh you know one of this um um one of one of these figures that this scene in the Toy Story movie has and you know all the th all the things that this uh, character does to the to the toys so I think this will be one of of his creations and here from the description says uh, it's really fun to see you guys enjoying making this pattern I was worried that this pattern will be too weird or so and I can totally feel this person this designer because if you go to their um, to their Instagram profile you will see beautiful and so charming and so cute pieces that I can see how the designer felt a little bit um, you know worried about this being too much and too terrific for their audience because they really make like really beautiful and so charming and so cute and so you know so tender pieces and this one it's like math thing and terrific of course and closer to halloween if i will say so even though this piece wasn't created for halloween as it was posted on um january the 5th or around uh, i think if you change the colors or even with these colors you can have it as a um, halloween deco at home because it's not something that you will see like in any other uh, day I mean this is this is a unique piece that you can add to your um, pattern uh, collection because yeah I don't know what you think this is so cute but at the same time terrific and this one again is from rin.meow21 meow, and um yeah so you can get the pattern in this account again all the accounts are going to be linked in the description and talking about cuteness we have this trick or treat dog i think this one it's very fun and hilarious but at the same time it's it's cute uh this one is from constanza lepe 
lab. I'm not sure about uh, how this is uh, sounds like. I'm sorry for my mispronunciation. And if you would like to get this pattern, you can go to this account and um, the link to their Etsy store is going to be in their bio. And I think, yeah, this is this deserves to be one of my favorites as well. I mean, all of the all of the um, designs here are my favorites. That's why this section is called Friday favorites, right? And I don't know. I cannot see like any other uh, like pictures of testers, for example, or whatever. But um, I will definitely would like to see how other people can transform this dog into any other uh, breed dog, for example, a poodle, a pug, or or I don't know whatever other dogs exist out there. But yeah, I would like to see like how people can transform or customize this like dog to their pets and you know I would like to see this comparison of one person having for example a pug and how a pug looks like um, customized as a ghost so I would like to see that I I couldn't find like more pictures of, of this but then if you would like to have this pattern and recreate it yourself and customize it to your uh, beloved pet then um, Again, you can uh, get the pattern in Constanza Lepe accounts, uh, Lepe's account, sorry. And if you do so, please tag me because I really want to see like any other dogs and uh, and and to be added some more details to this piece because I think it's hilariously cute. Yeah, I'm in love with this one. This really made me laugh when I when I first saw it. I have to be honest, but not laugh as uh, something rude, but this laugh that you feel when something it's so adorable. So this is what happened to me. <laughs> and now we have this other figure that at first glimpse, it reminds me to Christmas. I don't know, but because, uh, you know, like, uh, like Christmas characters are so different from Mexico to Canada so I think I remember seeing these gnomes before but as a Christmas deco I'm not 100% sure if you have seen these gnomes before as a Christmas deco please let me know I'm not the only one who can see a Christmas vibe in here just as the nutcracker that we saw before and this one it's the Halloween crochet pattern this is the, this this says this cute has a tasty potion to share take a spoon is anyone interested and this one is the muffin corn Etsy store and then you can find the link in this account this one is by Muffy corn and oh yeah look if I yeah so yeah I wasn't crazy so definitely this figure it's a Christmas deco and again just as the nutcracker like you know Halloween it's a weird season when one day before sorry one day after Halloween it's or it already becomes Christmas so if you are the kind of person who enjoys both festivities Halloween and Christmas you can definitely make one of those um, spooky nutcrackers and one of these um, gnomes and again um, as i was saying with the first cat and the broom about the accessories i think this piece itself it's kind of the same like you would like to have like these pieces together in a box and sell it all together because there's no way let's say there's no way this gnome comes without the potion pot because they are meant to be together i mean and I think it's so cute all the details put into this piece like all the imagination of the designer I think it's incredible because you can see like the eyes and that something it's dropping here and you know this uh, bat's eye here detail in the pompon of the hat I think this is gorgeous and also I have I didn't um, noticed before but the hat is also like dripping just like um, the pot so I think this is 
very well achieved. I can totally see Halloween and Christmas at the same time, but of course Halloween a little bit more and I really like all the details, but I, I already said that, but I want to emphasize the details of this eye. I mean, if the designer will have chosen just to add, you know, an eye instead of a regular pompon, it will be nice. It will be also like, uh, you know, it will be make sense. It will make sense and be nice and totally fine. But the designer went beyond that and added, um, but, um, how do you call this? Bat flies. Oh, wings. So I think that adding bad wings to the eye, I think that the designer went beyond. What do you think? This one is was almost is also my favorite, but that's not fair because this is Friday favorites, right? So all of these pieces are my favorites, but if you would like to get this gnome and all the accessories done, uh, get to Muffy, Muffy Corn. You will find all the links in my description. Then we have this ghost pug. Uh, do you remember the, tri the treat or trick dog, like wearing this um, like a ghost costume? Well, this is not a costume per se because this is a ghost pug, right? And uh, for this one, you have the pattern just in this post. And this one is from Craft Craftman Sort. And look at the pictures of the testers. I think this is really cute. Like, oh, and you remember about me saying that I would like to see the creativity of other testers and so, and this is what these testers make, right? So I really like the creativity that of the hook Amy made. Uh, I mean, you can totally say it's a pack. <laughs> um, but it's like very colorful and rainbow park uh, rainbow ghost so i think this is so adorable again i would like to see this as a puddle because uh my puddle passed away like probably two or three years now so i think i would like to have one of these uh pieces but as a puddle like i could imagine my my ghost dog like you know being around during halloween or dia de muertos i think that will be so cute to see and you know i love all the details for example the, of course they didn't forget this tiny tail so i think it's adorable what do you think will you want to make one of this now you know where to get the pattern this is again from craftsman's art means oh craft means art sorry craft means art and this is the cast pack and yeah if you would like to make one of this i will link the i will insert i will add the link in the description for you to have the pattern ready before Halloween and we also have one pizza bat I think this is so hilarious and so fun a piece and this is by Crouton Crochet and uh, it's the description says that this pattern is live and on rubberly so yeah, you will find again the link in the description for you to find this beautiful pattern. And I don't know if this is, I mean, bats are always related to Halloween, right? And so the thing with this piece is that bats are always related to Halloween and costumes are also related to Halloween, right? So I think that this pizza costume or let's say suits perfectly to this bat and I cannot like stand with how creativity I, don't, I cannot stand how creative a designer can be because uh, I think I will I will never imagine, <laughs> you know, that this um, that the natural shape of the bat wings 
real are like triangle and triangle equals to pizza so i think this is like creative um so i would like to give a creativity award to croutons crochet because uh they really uh cool they could really like see art and see something out of the box in a regular bat uh in, a, in the regular wings bat shape. It is so fun to see and to experience the creativity of every crochet of this um, of this and every Friday favorite. So this is something that I really enjoy about this section. And here we have the um, pieces, the finished pieces of the testers. And I can see like also the, even though people have the pattern and they are like meant to recreate the piece itself they added some of their creativity to the finished piece for example this one it's so cute i really love the the ribbon you know so classic and so charming and i adore that it is made out of pizza as well and the background as a pizza i think this is like so cute let's see what we have next i absolutely love this pattern and yeah so if you would like to crochet yourself one of these bat pizza bat um i will insert the link in the description so you can recreate it yourself so uh personally i don't know if this oh yeah well this is halloween amigurumi okay it has the tag in here but it doesn't have like the classic um, how do you say it doesn't have like the classic halloween colors that are maybe um black uh purple green and you know orange maybe but still and it's not like a dark color and the bat is not like a dark color but at the same time like you can see halloween in here just because it is a bat and bats are always related to halloween and it's wearing a pizza costume well it doesn't say here a pizza costume but that's how i see halloween in here and i think this is so adorable what do you think and last but not least we have this three-headed uh, corgi that to me it resembles like a chihuahua just because i see chihuahuas everywhere because my mom has one chihuahua at home so i think this is so so cute and at the same time it's so terrific i mean look at their eyes there's no way you can resist to this uh like charming side right and this one it's from cry terrific crochet and i and i think uh this was part of a contest or something i'm not pretty sure uh what does this um description means but i think this is a very well achieved piece um again i don't know if this was meant to be for halloween or yeah probably so this was created uh in 2022 like one year ago and i could find it in my feed and i think this is so beautiful i love my instagram algorithm because they always show me um, pictures that i will like and yeah so i think this one has to be one of my favorites i mean i said this is not fair because all of these are my friday favorites right but i think this has like a special place in my heart because in my mind these are chihuahuas <laughs> and i think this is also fun but at the same time terrific and one thing that i really love are the eyes i know that uh, the eyes are not like handmade of course they are plastic and the designer has to buy it and whatever but i think that having one of having these details like really adds up to the piece right but anyways 
with any other kind of eyes this piece will be still my favorite because for me this is a chihuahua so i think this is so so beautiful in a sense that it's very well achieved of course it is terrific because who would like to see one dog with three heads all right how was it uh, thank you so much for joining me in another video i hope that you like this one and stay tuned because october it's halloween and dia de muertos and of course i have something uh, prepared for those dates don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments which of these figures were your absolute favorite okay so thank you so much again and i'll see you next bye bye